Okay, so returning to the street vendor example again. On that street in China, there is no currency involved. Now, is that the goal of fintech innovation to eliminate all physical currency or perhaps even government-backed currency altogether? If the latter, do you think that governments will just roll over and allow their control over currency to be taken away? Now, in the China street vendor example, although people were paying with a web app, the transactions were still backed by government-issued currency. What happens when this is not the case? Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are usually not government-issued and even government-backed currency. Will governments be willing to allow the use of these cryptocurrencies within their borders and possibly even adopt one of these currencies as their own? Some nations have already announced that they would move to cryptocurrency in some form. For example, Venezuela launched a petrol cryptocurrency to help the country, among other things, skirt international economic sanctions. But the Marshall Islands is the first country to launch a legal tender cryptocurrency, meaning their new currency will be recognized as legal tender, real money, and will have equal status as their current currency. You guessed it, which is the US dollar. We told you, the US dollar, lots of power. Even the name of the new Marshallese currency, it's called sovereign after all, is a statement about power. The name was chosen to emphasize the sovereignty of the country, which has a history of colonization, nuclear testing, and resulting poverty. When discussing the controversial cryptocurrency, the president said, this is a historic moment for our people, finally issuing and using our own currency alongside the US dollar. It is another step manifesting our national liberty. This switch will have a lot of implications and could be the start of a new age for money and finance. Interestingly, the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, warned the Marshall Islands government about issuing such a cryptocurrency. They were concerned that the currency could be manipulated by crime syndicates and fraudulent business practices, the types of activities that have often been tied to cryptocurrencies, and also that foreign governments could cut financial aid to the Marshall Islands if they broke from the US dollar as their only currency. Okay, so let's stop and consider some important questions. Do you think that cryptocurrency and other fintech solutions will ever be largely adopted by banks and governments? Or will they lead to a decentralized future where banks and governments are less influential in these areas? Will tech fins take over the finance industry? And will other countries adopt cryptocurrency as a legal tender? Mm -hmm.